Telecom. Uh, we saw the EGOM meeting happen on Friday. Any concrete outcome of this or was it just fixing another meeting? No, of course, there were some decisions that were made. Now, importantly, as far as the spectrum pricing is concerned, they've gone with the Telecom Commission's decision sure. of uh, high ra high raising the a price from what the regulator has suggested by 15% and 25% for both the 1800 and the uh, 900 megahertz spectrum band. But what uh, this translates for telcos is that it's a significant, uh, you know, sort of disappointment for telecom companies because they have been, uh, you know, asking for a lower price and they were uh, very thrilled with uh, TRAI's price, uh, you know, where it suggested that the prices would be much lower than the last uh, auctions. But uh, in fact, Vodafone had written to the Egom some time ago saying that you know they want a uniform uh, spectrum user charge regime, and also they want uh, 900 megahertz band uh, to be uh, to be given to the incumbents and not to be reformed. And uh, on both these counts, uh, the Egom has come up with a contradictory uh, approach, saying that the spectrum user charge regime will be varied. That that is, it will be uh, according to its present structure, sure. as well as the bands, the 900 megahertz spectrum band will Do be reformed. Do we have any clarity on when those auctions will be held from a government's fisc standpoint? Uh, so the uh, Egom has mentioned that the auctions are slated to happen in January 2014 sure. and they expect to garner about 30,000 to 40,000 crore.